So, virtual console games on the Nintendo Switch is something pretty much everyone wants. Just think about it. Imagine playing classic NES games on an HD TV and then taking that same experience with you wherever you go. Well, Nintendo has been somewhat quiet when it comes to adding classic games to the Switch as of right now. And that's a little bit disappointing because there are so many great games for Nintendo's old consoles. Playing Super Mario World wherever I go would be incredibly fun. Well, Nintendo has sort of answered my prayers, as the first virtual console game is now available to purchase on the Switch. So today on the eShop, you can purchase a game from Hamster, not Nintendo, which is kind of strange, called Arcade Archives vs. Super Mario Bros. In case you couldn't tell, this game is just simply vs. Super Mario Bros., which is basically the arcade version of the original Super Mario Bros. for the NES. The game costs around 10 Canadian dollars and looks really fun. I haven't played the original vs Super Mario Bros, but it definitely looks like a game that I'd be really into. Something that's also really interesting about this game is that it supports tabletop mode. So, in theory, you could hand one Joy-Con to another person and play the game together. Versus Super Mario Bros. also has other features. For example, you could adjust the game's difficulty, compete for a high score on a worldwide leaderboard, and you can use some design features to make it really feel like you're back in the 80s. So, as of right now, I'm liking this game. It looks really addictive and fun, and its price tag isn't too high. However, there is some things that I am kind of confused about. First off, I don't see why Nintendo licensed this game to a different company when they developed it. What I mean by that is this game is published by a company known as Hamster, not Nintendo. Nintendo originally developed this game back in 1986, so I just don't get why Hamster is publishing it and not Nintendo. Maybe Nintendo is gearing up for their full Virtual Console release, because this game is not actually a part of the Virtual Console series, rather the Arcade Archive series. But maybe they just want to release all of their Virtual Console titles at the same time? I don't know, I am slightly confused, but even so, I still want to look into this game. Again, it looks really, really fun to play. I know I'm repeating myself a lot, but that's because there isn't much else to say about it. It looks like a game I'd enjoy. But what do you think of this game? Let me know in the comments and I'll try to reply back to you. If you did enjoy this video, then I would appreciate it if you shared it on social media, but that's always up to you. I'll have my social medias linked in the description, and see you.